Today we are going to learn how to prototype quickly inside Unreal Engine 5, a custom character, so that we can test it in our game. We are going to cover how to create a character, quickly set it up inside Unreal, creating skeletal mesh, how to build a custom rig, skinning and blend weights, how to create animations inside Unreal, and last but not least, how to create our blend space and animation blueprint so that that character is usable as a playable prototype. I made a few variations of the character, I picked the one that I really liked, and I brought that to Meshi. Using their image to 3D, I quickly generated the mesh. From there, I simplified the mesh, created textures, and we were ready to export it to Unreal. As an export settings, it was important to set up the height. I'm going to use one meter, and we are going to export it as an FBX. Inside Unreal, we can just drag and drop our mesh. I don't like importing textures and materials by default, so I tick those off, and then I just dragged the textures. For the material, we are creating something very simple and just hooking the diffuse, normal, and roughness. Now that we have our mesh set up, we are going to go to the viewport, right click, and convert it to a skeleton mesh. This is our first step for creating a custom skeleton for the character. We're going to open the skeleton and then going to the top on the left, edit skeleton, changing it from edit to add. We can start clicking inside the viewport to create our bones. If you want to create a bone starting from another point than from the last one that you clicked, you can simply select one of the other bones and then your next bone is going to be attached to it. After the bones are created, I'm going to use the edit tool just to adjust them so that they are on the correct place where I want. And also I'm going to quickly go through the bones and rename them so that after when we're doing the rig we know which bone is on which placement now that everything is done we are going to go into skin and we're going to press bind skin on the very top this is going to assign a quick skinning and the bones are going to have now effect on our mesh from this point we need to select each bone go into skin edit weights and then using the add brush either add the parts that we want this bone to be affecting or by holding control we can remove some of the parts. Also to ensure that the blending is smoother, we can use the relax. And once we are done with this process, we have a character that already has a skeleton and is being skinned on that skeleton. We're now going into the content browser, right clicking the skeleton, going to create, and from there selecting a modular rig. Here I'm going to use the tools for biped. And since we already have the root set it up, I'm going to first set up the spine. Here is where naming the bones really comes useful. Once we have the spine, I'm going to do the head, then the legs and the arms as well. And at this point, we already have a full character that's been skinned and rigged. All that's left is to drag and drop it into our scene, which automatically is going to open Sequencer and change Unreal to animation mode. Now by selecting our controllers, we can start animating. When we are done with an animation, we just need to go all the way to the top, right click and select back animation sequence. This is going to give us a pop-up where to save our asset. And after giving it a proper name, it's going to be saved in that place. I've made a quick walk cycle and also an idle animation, which is enough to start setting up the blend space. We are going to, again to right click inside the content browser, go to animations, legacy and create a 1D blend space. And here inside the blend space line, we're just going to drag first the idle, put the value on zero and then the walk and we're going to put the value on 25. By moving the slider between zero and 25, you can see that it's going to automatically blend our animations. Going back again to the content browser, we are going to right click and create an animation blueprint. There we are going to drag and drop our animation blend space, create a variable that's a float and we are going to name it speed. We're going to connect everything, compile, and we are done with our character setup. If you want to learn more game development tips and tricks, subscribe and follow my channel. See you next time.